I'm standing right where a dinosaur stood. Isn't this the coolest thing? Just right here. So many beautiful rocks. Everybody, it's Kate from Katie Did. Welcome to the epic rock road trip. Uh, I am at the Red Gulch Dinosaur Trackway, and we are in Wyoming, just just east of Grable, and we're going to see if we can find some dinosaur tracks. Come along. It's we've been sitting here watching this family following the dinosaur tracks and it's just such a joy to to listen to the the little kid and see how how excited she is and and uh, how excited the folks are to be able to share it with her I just think this is such a great place well this is very unexpected they actually have a ramp that lets you get right down onto the trackway I was expecting to stand up above and look down at it. Um, so now I have to figure out which ones are the dinosaur tracks. This used to be kind of a muddy bank on the in, on an inland sea called the Sundance Sea. And dinosaurs came and left their mark right here along the mud, which now has turned into stone. So this is the trackway. Uh, this isn't, this is mud and dirt, but coming up on it is the trackway. We're coming up now on the trackway. I read on the sign that the, uh, the mud was almost hardened with lime and then it was covered with an algae mat so the tracks were preserved more than regular mud would be and then eventually uh, the salt water came and covered it and the mud washed away and it preserved them for us to see now and so i guess they're I, this must be limestone that the mud has become they're kind of hard to see but i was watching some folks earlier and they do seem to have a specific direction here. So if you take a look, if you take a look right here, kind of hard to see, but there's one up here that's been outlined in chalk so that people can see it a little bit better. And you can see it's quite large. It's, well, they say eight inches, this one is. This was a theropod, which was a meat eater. They don't actually know which theropod yet, but the track comes along this way and goes off this way. There's actually some other ones as well. There's the, the, the tracks crisscross here. I spotted some other ones a little while ago. Um, let's see if we can... Point. This one looks like it could be a little teeny one. It doesn't have the sharp pointy claws of the other one. So if it is, it's definitely a different kind of dinosaur, which is cool. these are actually worm or slug burrows that were, were dug into the mud at the same time. But I think this one is a pretty clear theropod track. This one is really, really super cool. Look at that. I mean, I'm standing right where a dinosaur stood. Isn't this the coolest thing? Just right here. This one must have been a smaller one. This is a, it's about the size of my hand. So it must have been a smaller dinosaur. Probably about maybe the size of a big dog.
here is a great big one. Let's see if I can make a theropod hand. Nope, can't have make my fingers do it that way. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm like so, I'm so thrilled to be able to sit here right where the dinosaurs were walking. 168 million years ago, isn't that incredible? I'm so excited. I'm thinking this is probably one too. It's not really great light to be able to see them because it's kind of overhead and so the shadows are not long. Um, but you still can see them pretty well. Looks like here's another one. Up here, I'm told, there are some smaller, some smaller tracks. This whole trackway is, oh, I don't know, maybe about 50 yards long. But how remarkable that it's survived this long, all the way 168 million years ago, so that I could stand here today and share it with you. That's just amazing. These tracks were only discovered in 1997. And fortunately they were on BLM land. So the BLM has made this wonderful interpretive area and allows people to come down and walk in the footprints of dinosaurs. So, so fun. <laughs> cool. So this is an ancient oyster. These things are called devil's toenails for obvious reasons. And it's not legal to remove fossils from this area, so I'm going to leave it here. But I am super happy to have found it so I can share it with you. They're very common around here. If I were in the right place, I could just pick up, you know, a bunch of them. But, uh, but I'm glad to be able to see it. This is actually the first one I've ever found because I've never been in the right spot before. So that's very cool. So these devil's toenails are actually pretty much everywhere. Could make a really nice, could make a really nice little monster out of them. Well, this was a super nice stop. It's about five miles off the road. It's a gravel road, but it's not too bad. If you have a very, very low slung car, you probably don't want to go there. But other than that, it's fine. Uh, don't come when it's muddy because the road is dirt and you will get stuck. Other than that, super place for family, super place for me. It's been really fun. Thanks for coming along. This is Kate from Katie Did. Keep on doing.